That's so weird. I don't know why it's not appearing on stream anymore. Maybe it's something I have to fix at some point. But anyway. Yeah, I I don't know. I'll I'll troubleshoot it after, I guess. Not sure how I would even go about doing that, but anyway, um, I need to check something. This stream will take hours, love. I mean, yeah, it will, but I already started. Yeah, I, I do have a profile named Naito. <laughs> don't don't ask questions. Sit down. Did I already get this guy? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Isn't it just something you can drag into place while the stream is live? But it is in place, that's the thing. Like, it's all, it's all, Sit down, Desmond. it's all right, it's all done correctly, it's just, for some reason, it's not displaying. When I actually go over to Streamlabs, for example, right, you already did it. Did I, though? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I did. But yeah, um, here, I don't know, let's see. Maybe I can do, like, properties or something and and reset or can I just like copy this whole thing and then paste it and then delete the original remove yeah and then leave that there I don't even know did you disable it no I, I shouldn't have I don't think so. Everything is is displaying or, or should be displaying anyway. All right, I just reset it. Uh, now it should work. Let me know if you guys see it. Okay, cool, fantastic. Beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know. It's the the age old have you tried turning it off and then turning it back on again? All right. Uh Pi, that noise is um it's just a notification sound. Start your memory already. All right. Shut up. Use throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Okay, we can go to Damascus, Acre, or Jerusalem, and we're gonna go to Acre first. Because fuck William. I love that target. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Man, I feel like your students will never fully understand what it is to wield a blade. You must be busy. I understand. Did I mess this up? You must be busy. I understand. Damascus looks the prettiest. Yeah, but I'm like William is my favorite assassination in the franchise, possibly you because must be busy. it's yeah, so I classic. Like toss your weapons around so it's carelessly. it's a rogue infiltrating a castle to kill a paladin. Like let's fucking go. so traditional, you know what I mean? Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. I get to see all today, I don't mind the order. Fantastic. Brilliant. Rafiq, 
Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. Oh, I just got but catch I ledge too. Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its way, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you That's such a badass quote. Like, Altair is like, oh, I don't care about politics. He's like, but surely you realize all your actions shape the future of this land. You are a politician too, in your own way. Like, that's fucking sick. You wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's Citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. Hey, it's me again. I still want your voice. Can we maybe make a trade? I'm afraid that won't be possible. Alright, so Cathedral of the Holy Cross is the tallest viewpoint in this game, which means we are obliged to go to it. But first, we're gonna start with this one. Because it's here, and I'm feeling it. You know, warm up a little. Stuff like that. Just come right up to this memory wall. I want to see you stab the fatty. Uh, he's going to be last. Whoa, wait, how'd you do that? How'd I do what? Vaulting? Hello, are you climbing the cathedral? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I am. Every time, every year. I gotta. It's, it's important. All right, let's check out where we're going. Um, presumably, Rich District, right? That's where we're at? Pretty sure, anyway. Like, say, so this is his his place. <laughs> Do you press empty hand or something? Um, yes, I press empty hand. Assassin's Creed is worth playing any year. Yes, correct, exactly. Also, I don't know if it's just me, or if I'm crazy or something, but, like, music, though? This shit is fucking loud, bro. Hey, Leo, are you only using the hidden blade? No, I'm using all of my weapons. I mean, during a vault. So the way it works is... It's actually kind of tough to explain. But you basically want to... That will cost you your life. Jump Help! twice Anyone in a row between two beam type objects, and on the second Anyone jump, hold done? forward Thief! and high profile and legs steal. and empty hand help all at the same time. It is not in the Ezio trilogy. This is specific to Assassin's Creed 1. Can we do that? Yeah, all sneaky like. I have an actual question that I need an answer to, which is, in your opinion, the best Assassin's Creed game for parkour and fun. 
Uh, AC 1 to Revelations are all the best AC games for parkour and fun. And how would you get it to run on Windows 10? It They should run innately on Windows 10 just fine. But Treviso may be able to answer that better than me. Counter pusher drunk madman. Oh yeah. Yeah, but locking on makes sure you attack the right target. That's why I do it. Oh, okay, I see. I see. These assholes. Don't try to run, old man. Well, that was kind of hilarious. But whatever. Are you for real, buddy? Nice, just got a face full of these. Really. That is a very bad idea, friend. Oh. Again? Ah. He caught on a little quicker. There we go. Is that all? Shock and awe is godlike. Yeah, kill chains before kill chains. Let's go. And yes, I stopped the girl from talking by kicking her in the face. Effectively. Hello, Darkus. Hmm. Leo, do an eagle strike on William. I'll make a fool of myself, so probably not on stream. That needs some preparation and some setup. And like you, honestly, a little bit of trial and error. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can because catch ledge is godlike. Ah, he would try to try to grab. That's hilarious. Do you prefer a stylish or a stunt assassination? I don't really have a preference. I think they're all cool. Um, is this it? Or actually, we can find out just by seeing what looks tall as fuck. Yes, this is in fact it. Excuse me, fellow. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I am a murderer. What, you're gonna cry about it? We came in peace. You, you're gonna go cry to the guards? Snitches get stitches. Um, okay. Question. Uh-huh. We got handholds. Yes, we do. What do you think is the prettiest Assassin's Creed? Probably Unity at max settings. Flag. Yeah, I know, I know there's a flag. I just don't care about it. That flag is irrelevant. Mm. Mayhaps I'll pick it up later. Leave before you get hurt. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Leave before I get hurt. As if. Falls off the building. This place is restricted. Be gone! I show up for three seconds and see Leo being sadistic and cruel to NPCs and immediately knew this would be a good time. 
Gosh dang. That's why we have catch ledge. In case of shenanigans like those. This flag though. Damn, that feels AC1-y. This, this game, yo, this game is AC1 as heck. Altier's arms are swole AF. Punch a dude. Stand up, friends. Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king. Probably we German. Must rely on men who are stronger in their Maybe. convictions. Men like William of Montferrat. to a dark place so we can have a little chat you and I Gold? I have a few pieces on me. Take them. Take them and go. You physically it's tossed them into the dark. Is there something about that? Yes. No, nothing. If you, because here's the thing. Um, if I throw him into a place where guards can't see, when Altair stabs him, it'll be much more difficult for them to detect me. You know William. Tell me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets at the king. And when will the king be gone? Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. But our business is done. Not yet, I'm afraid. There's one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. from <laughs> God. And so he punishes us, sends hordes of heathen warriors to <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the smoothest interrogation you've seen in your life, barring like the first hit I took. Like, got the escape, got the stealth, got everything. Like, fuck, didn't get aggro by any thugs. Mm hmm, it's nice. This, this feels good. Yeah. Question. Um, yeah. Poisonous words meant to show the seeds of conspiracy. 
Excuse me, folks. We're just gonna go this way. Fear and doubt are the weapons of our enemies. Do not listen to their lies. You go mad. Ladders are a socially acceptable way to reach a flag. Hey, how's life been treating y'all? Life has been okay. And yeah, memory block four is goddamn Leave amazing. Fuck you. I was talking to the guard, by the way, not anyone in chat. What Assassin's Creed game do you think has the best viewpoint music? Maybe AC2? Uh, maybe AC1. I like the moody, atmospheric, like, quiet themes. Oh! There's a in, there's an informant here. I remember. I have done this guy's investigation so many times that even just seeing this little area, I know who he is. Away from God. Oh shit! Flags. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you run away. No problem. Like, I know that, like, archers are cool and all, but flags. Flag races. Flag races are the shit. Flag races are baby. Hidden blade, man. It's such a sick weapon. Back again, Altair. Always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. This time, Al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. But this time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. All right, man. Whatever you say, homie. Do you think it's a trick? Uh, excuse me. Oh wait, I got it. Hello. Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. Flag collection makes sense that it's like in a sequence because that's probably some route that Altier once ran. And in order to prevent Desmond from running all over a city for hours trying to track down these flags, Lucy or Vidic or whoever the fuck was just like, you know what? Stack all these flags in a parkour chain so that it's faster. And, and that's that.
Oh, that's not very nice. I'll find you. I swear I will. Will you though? I don't know what's up with you, mate, but uh, I think you're in a bit of trouble there. I did a strong attack. Are you happy? I didn't hit with it, but I did one. There you go. Are you guys still alive? Alright. That's fine. Cola just started playing AC1. It's the boy! Safety and peace, brother. There is no best AC. There is only my favorite AC, and it's this one. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. Hey, Butter. They refused to accept him as their savior. These men hold evil in their hearts. And so blessed Richard, king and savior, now stands against them, defending us from their wicked ways. Be not afraid. Fear and doubt are Do not listen to them. This one gives me trouble too. They detect you extremely easily. Come on, walk back over. Walk back over. You want to walk back over. You want to, so bad. You're gonna stay there for a while, aren't you? Oh, there you go. That's what I said, you wanna walk back over. There you go. I told you you wanted to walk back over. Whoa, shit. Yeah, let's take a look at the, the lay of the land here, you feel me? Oh. This is fine. That works for me. And we are gonna go this way. He's gonna hurt himself, and when he does, he'll hurt someone. Stay strong, citizen. Oh god, I'm so fucked. They're all staring at me. Um, we need to climb up this building as fast as we can. I have nowhere to go. Fucking hell. Now I have to try that again. I should have stayed on the roof. Yeah, it was worth a shot. That's no problem. Come here. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't need to jump and bump this guy. Because we've already seen it once. Stop who?
Have I finished campaign in what? stay on rooftops because that seems like a wise decision. I can once more move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. Fantastic. Now, uh, we need to find ourselves a thug. So we are just going to wander around until we find one. Oh, hey! How are you, buddy? You having a good time? Great. Glad, glad you're enjoying yourself. Wonderful. Fantastic. Helio, what are you planning to play after the memory block? Blasphemous. And uh, you guys have to have Black Tie to thank for that because he actually purchased the game for me. Hello. Yeah, subtitles are like one of the only things I would actually add to an AC1 remaster, qualitatively. Leave now? But what if I want to leave in like a minute? Clutched it. I know, right? Mentor Leo, do the enemies have a 180 field of view or does it work differently? Um, no, it, it's a cone. They can't see you like directly from the side. Hold on, we're just gonna do this. Oh, there was a surface for me to land on, that's nice. That totally fucked up my lateral jump, but no problem. Have you 100%ed any game, and if so, which? Um, in in general, or from Assassin's Creed? From Assassin's Creed, I've 100%ed every game. And in general, I've 100%ed Dishonored, Shadow of Mord, like, achievements. You can't do everything in a single Dishonored playthrough. But Dishonored, Shadow of Mordor, um, I don't know, like, tons of okay. games, yeah. What brings you back so soon? It's a wave I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large, and many men call him master. But he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. I've it's played Shadow of War, yes. I have a this video on it. To my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forward in memory. So yeah, I have played Shadow of War. I have had a decent experience with it, but I think Nemesis difficulty is overtuned and it's kind of garbage. Um... I like Dishonored 2, it's fine. It's worse than Dishonored 1, but it's fine. Uh, I have not played Mark of the Ninja, but I own it. 
so very excited to do that one day, whenever that ends up being. I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. Um, yeah, I kind of finished Shadow of War. Like, I got to the Shadow Wars, and then I was like, fuck that, I'm not doing 10 of these things. And then I quit and I watched the true ending on YouTube. Because it's like, yeah. Um, and then after that, some, some, like a week after or whatever, they patched it so that, like, the Shadow Wars are less long or less obnoxious or something. I don't know. But in any case, by that point, I had already uninstalled the game, and I was like, eh, fuck that. I wish you could install game DLCs individually without, like, the base game's files. That would be godlike, because I want to play, like, the Blade of Galadriel, but I don't want to reinstall, like, all the gigs of Shadow of War again, like, ugh. If you find yourself tempted, go and pray! Go and God pray. If your heart is pure, I got your prayer right here. Away from God. A Shao Jun solo and game would be amazing. Souls, yeah, Chronicles China doesn't count. Prisoners. It's a good game, but no, the it's not not enough. Have that end of the you know this to be She true. deserves better. <laughs> oh yes, a great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened. But filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arca's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point! But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I've a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. The more playthroughs of AC1 I do, the less I like to move away from Altair's point of view. So whenever glitches happen, honestly, I don't really like triggering them. I just like to stay with Altair and treat the glitch as like, oh, you know, a pivotal moment is about to happen, so pay attention. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not right. We're gonna do... Uh... Hmm, yeah. Hold up a minute. Hello. Let's go ahead and grab on this right here. Hello friend. How are you? Goodbye friend. Hey, killer. Men, gather up. Heed 
well what I have to say. I come from you see, rooftop the guards king are not the deaf. Is grim. We stand the just truth happens to be of failing quiet. in our duties. He does not recognize the value of our contributions to the cause. For shame! He knows nothing! He's wrong! He's Hold your tongue! Aye, he speaks falsely, but his words are not without some merit. To tour these grounds, it is easy to find fault, to see imperfection. I fear we have grown slack and lazy. Never! We are committed! Why do you say that? I see the way you train. You lack conviction and focus. You gossip and gamble. Tasks set to you are left unfulfilled or poorly performed. This ends today. I will not suffer further degradation at his hands. For whether or not you see it, and you should, this is your fault. You've brought shame upon us all. Skill and dedication are what won us, Ark, and they will be required to keep it. I have been too lenient, it seems. But no more. You will train harder, and more often. If this means missing meals, missing sleep, so be it. And should you fail in these tasks, you will learn the true meaning of discipline. Bring them forward. If I must make examples of some of you to ensure obedience, so be it. The two of you stand accused of whoring and drinking while on duty. What say you to these charges? M my, my, my lord, please. We, we we meant no harm by it. We we forgot ourselves. It will not happen again. No, it won't. Ah! 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 This regard for duty is infectious. It shall be rooted out and destroyed. In this way, we may prevent its spread. Am I understood? Yes, my lord. Of course, by your command. Good, good. Return to your posts filled with a new sense of purpose. Stay strong, stay focused, and we will triumph. Falter, however, and you will join these men. Be sure of it. Dismissed! Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Appa for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. And these things are hardly even. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You who speak of good intention.
I am fucking out of here. No, city alerts don't count for detected because they're basically mandatory. That does, though. I was saying assassin don't worry if it's um if it's done like too many times in a shot in a shot <laughs> if, it, if it's done too <laughs> fuck chat if it's done too many times in a, in a short like window it only counts it once like it will display the message twice but the count only increases once Holy fuck, that was actually super funny. You know what, on second thought, jumping into this haystack was actually a really bad idea. Okay, this is like an alleyway. There's no guards here, yes? Beautiful. Yaman, I am going to time you out. Don't start that shit. Let's just... Yes! Nailed it! What news? William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. <laughs> it was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. One down, two to go. throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Come, al -Kair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You've my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, 
There is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. He just backpedals so hard. He's like, as an assassin, it's your duty to question reality around you, you know, to pierce the veil, to see through the illusion, right? And then when Altair does exactly what he says, he's like, oh, um, actually, as an assassin, you also have to obey me so that you're easier to control, which is a very, like, Templar way of doing things, but don't tell anyone I said that, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, Master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. I love how, like, already he's he's questioning him. Like, you you speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? Like, it's it's fucking badass. What's going on? Hey, man, What's do your students know how to wield a blade? Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. I guess not. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Perhaps. You must be busy. I understand. You must be busy. I understand. We're gonna save the best for last because that's like Jerusalem's assassination has one of Altair's best moments of character development. So yeah. And also, Jerusalem has to be last because our boy Malik is there and the he's guards, our best friend. Break their line of sight and try to hide from them. Stay hidden until you are anonymous again. William of Montferrat sought to kill King Richard. I had assumed he meant to do this for his son Conrad, but it seems I was in error. His wish was for the people to inherit the land, free from the whims of petty tyrants. A new world, he called it. What is the meaning of these cryptic words? Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside Thanks from Thanks for the, the hugs, Lone Wanderer, yes, Calf, aside from Levi. Those things, I envy you very much. I do not care Hello, what the Andrew. others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again, what can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting All spot right, butter. and has proved I'll see you later, a reliable okay? source of loose tongues in the past. Thank you. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. Dude, Altair is so sick. He's like, he's like, uh, I care not for what he did. Like, I'm here to do a job. So, like, give me information. Like, that's, that's AC1 right there. 
He's like, I'm not here to fuck around. Why are you doing this? Like, you, don't look at me and accept, expect an Ezio or an Edward Kenway. That's not the kind of guy I am. I'm in this city because someone has to die. Yeah, exactly. Give me names and I'll give you blood. Killer Edge Lord. Yep, that's me. Also known as Leo K. Rogue. <laughs> Remind me how to Eagle Strike. Eagle Strike is it's not really like a useful tech. It's more like something you do to be flashy. The basis of an Eagle Strike is that you perform a jump that would kill you if you hit the ground, and then you catch ledge, and then from the catch ledge you air assassinate the target. Uh, the best way, the best one, like kind of the, the template for it is if you go to YouTube and you search Eagle Strike on William of Montferrat, you can kind of, you know, see that. So I'm gonna rip that guy. Ah, what's this? I did that for butter because I missed the earlier flag on purpose. Can you tell us something about the Rafiq if you know any lore about him? The Rafiqs basically act as... How to put it? They're essentially what Henry Green is in Syndicate. That's what they are. And a Rafiq is not a name, it is a title. It's a job description. So the only Rafiq whose name I think is mentioned in the game itself is Malik. Yeah, you can kind of do eagle strikes in Kenway Saga, but it's kind of like not as tight because there's no button distinction for catch ledge. You just move the stick to do it. Stealth Reaper means kill everyone in the area without being detected as fast as you can. It's a designation that I started, and a lot of people in the community kind of, you know, they took it on board. Stealth Reaper greater than stealth kills. Uh, I prefer Altair's grab as well because it's so 
Well, like you grab and then you have like a window of time to like throw him in a direction, right? It's cool. It's it's it it's a tool not for positioning yourself but for positioning the enemy. The term stealth kills is overused on YouTube. That's exactly why I created Stealth Reaper as as a title a long time ago. And of course you heard Turkish, Yaman. This is Damascus. There are Saracens here. Arkadash. <laughs> a few coins, please. Is he running from someone? Huh. You ever see someone do that before? I have. Oh, you've seen someone do that now. I know that means friend. What did he do? And Kardashim means I'm brother. Here, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abul Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. <laughs> Nani? Could you spare a few coins? I'm so hungry. You're hurting me. There's nowhere to run over. I am Audi. And next, we're gonna check this place out right here. Make sure that our buddy isn't like on the roof or something. Hmm. That's a little scary. I'm fucking out of here, bye, thanks. Isn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. I don't have to come any further. I just did what he asked me. He told me not to come any further. I just listened, it's fine. Just hit him with that Dark Knight Joker style. A very poor choice of words. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. Be gone. It's not just jumping into them, Frank. You have to jump toward them and in midair before you hit them, lock onto them. And then when Altair collides them, or collides you with them, I should say, uh, it will cancel their dialogue. 
Leave now. Which is very handy, as you may imagine. Now, this guy is aiming at me, and I'm not really a big fan of that. That's just insurance. Technically, we didn't have to kill that guy, but, like, you feel me. Now, anyone who can snipe me over here? No, we're fine. You go to viewpoints only sometimes and not as soon as you enter the city. Yep, I like to mix it up. You shouldn't be here. Be gone. This game aged amazingly, Zamil. What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, yes, the edgy delay on the kill. If anything, he'd skip the rest. Facts. Yeah, what do you think about the fact that in AC1 you can sink outside of the beams themselves and some don't even have beams? I think it's awesome. I think that it makes it more, you know, natural. Alright. We're gonna do Helmet 1. We're gonna attempt Helmet 2. Okay, we got him. The rest of them are easy. What sacrifice? Yeah, I just fucking murked those guys. Hold on, we're gonna do that. It's honestly true, yeah. Like, Odyssey is big now only because it's the most recent one. But as soon as some time passes, people are not going to be talking about that game. Alright. We're going to take our time and just kind of you look familiar. give this gentleman the old paw, you know? Hey, fellow. How are you? It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. Malik's voice actor no one else and Suleiman's voice actor. None will actor. know my mission. Then our business is concluded. If you're gonna block, report, and unsubscribe me for saying AC1 is a legendary video game, you are free to go. Reach a hundred hugs in time. No, I say if you like Odyssey, you have no rights. Your opinion matters, you just have no rights. Like, there's a very big difference about that. Like, I'll listen to your opinion, but I don't have to treat you like a human being. They really should update this game for current consoles. Because so many people just don't even have a chance to play it. 
Honestly, I endorse people having anime profile pics. It's a good thing. Embrace that shit. It's fantastic. This guy bothers me. Curious. Very curious. Yes, they should update it and add like loot and stuff. Ugh, disgust. Hold up one sec. We want to do this. And then we want to go over here. And then we want to go over here. And when we go over here, we want to take a look around. Yeah. Is this door closed? Yes, it is. I thought so. Curious. Blue Exorcist or Naruto Shippuden? Blue Exorcist. Easy. Easy clap. Oh shit, would you look at that? We can actually go this way. Bananas. Just like potassium. So much potassium. All right, this is kind of pointless. I'll come back here later. A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. Should Richard take Jaffa? There will be no stopping him. Someone could have been hurt. Jerusalem next. Yeah, Blue Exorcist was, like, better in concept than in execution, but it's awesome. Like, the art, the character designs, the weapon designs, the lore. Come no further. Zamil, you're about to get timed out. There are certain things we do not tolerate in this kingdom. No, I wouldn't ban you if you told me you didn't enjoy it, but I would ban you if you told me I was wrong to enjoy it. I wouldn't even hesitate. I would pull that trigger so fast. Darkus, you've been kind of a shit these past few days as well. Don't think I haven't noticed. You yourself, mate, are treading on thin ice. So... You'd best be cautious now. Bring me the droid. Just a little money, I beg of you. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Beef! You are beef! Where? Help me! Where? You will not get away from me! Ripping on Unity is actually acceptable. Hmm. 
The people of Damascus despise the merchant king for spending their money on extravagant parties held inside his palace. Attending one of these celebrations should bring me close enough to strike. I play Unity because people love it. I like enjoy it. It's okay. It's it's a functional video game and I think that's kind of generous. I have more than 1,000 hours on Unity. Oh? I spy an asshole. Everything we now have, we have because of him. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. What is it that you want? I respect the petty dedication to get good at a game you hate just to prove fanboys wrong. That is literally what I did. Like, the reason the no upgrades run exists is because I was like, okay, how can I show people I'm, like, not bad at this game so that they'll finally listen to me when I say it's, like, horrible? I'm sure <laughs> Got him. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? The Syndicate has better combat. Not fear. Hate. And it has easier controls. So... It's slightly more functional than Unity, but its atmosphere is worse, its story is worse, its characters are less interesting to me personally, and its Templars are just completely uninspired, so... He hates himself you decide. as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters. But yeah, I... I shame. In some he ways I'd argue Syndicate forever. is worse, yeah. No. Those celebrations of his. I will say one thing. Playing Syndicate casually is better than playing Unity casually, but making videos on Unity is actually easier than making videos on Syndicate because, believe it or not, Unity is actually less random. And I don't know why. But yeah, that's there it is. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? <sighs> You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. In most games, I prefer to play on the hardest difficulty available, but if the game is poorly balanced, I'll play on, like, normal. Like, basically the way it works is, if I'm playing a game on the hardest difficulty and I'm, I'm having a good time... And, you know, it's not that it's being a pushover or anything, but it, it's, it's challenging me, but I'm still having a good time. Well, that was fucking hilarious. Um, is this flags, by the way? You want information about the city, I suppose? 
right now I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our yes, cache in the flags red district high. of Damask. But with this heat, my legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags and I'll help you as best I can. My No, I don't. You've never seen me before in your life. You have no idea. Thank you. The Rafik will be happy to see these flags returned. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his lavish parties. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. I'll see you Use later, this information Lori. wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. Um, someone asked me earlier how... How just stealth was nerfed in Odyssey. And what it comes down to is a direct... A direct nerf to arrows and the way headshots are calculated and crits are calculated. And a direct nerf to assassin damage as a statistic. But Treviso can probably go into more detail about that because he actually, against all odds, made good Odyssey videos. Like, Trevi's Odyssey videos are better than the actual game. I'll have your hands for that! What is that man thinking? Stop it, please! Your life is now gone! This is a waste of my time! But you will not win! Wow, there's a lot of these guys here. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I had to hit the grab bait anyway. Oh, wait. How does what even work running late? I mean, how does the rapid low profile attack work when you're in a fight? It's called shock in all combat or fear propagation. So the way it works is sometimes 
I have... Okay, you know all the hours I have in Unity? I have more than that in AC1. And I'm still not, like, great at the game. There's still stuff that other people can do that I can't do. Because I need more training. But okay, so the way it works is fear propagation, right? Sometimes, whenever you kill an enemy in this game, there is a percent chance that one enemy in the swarm around them becomes um, staggered, basically. Like, they'll either become nauseous, or they'll lower their weapon, or they will, you know, look afraid. Like, they'll look around like they're scared, or, you know, things like that. And there's a variety of animations, but you can learn to recognize them. Now, when you unlock, select Hidden Blade, and low profile stab one of these like nauseous or frightened guys before their animation finishes and before they can block again you will chain the fear effect to someone else in the swarm if you then sprint over to that guy and low profile hidden blade him you will chain the fear to someone else in the swarm so the idea is you constantly spread the fear effect through the entire swarm and you can basically kill chain all of them. It's like the predecessor to Brotherhood's kill chain system, but, you know, in, in a different form. And, and that's how it works. So, yeah. Uh, when you get good at this, you basically don't even have to fight. Because you're pretty much just assassinating people in combat. And as you can see, uh, it lets you play very, very quickly. And it absolutely is intentional. It is intentional. It was just unfinished. It's an unfinished system, and that's why it was never tutorialized. Be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need Yenex to know. Ian 4 was prey. like my big brother. You share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Hey, Jace, how are you? Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Yeah, that video, the bleeding effect, expert gameplay in Assassin's Creed, is literally the reason why I'm an Assassin's Creed fan instead of just being a dude who played the games. Leo, can you try faction combat? It's kind of difficult to reproduce. The best play to the best place to do it would be to like replay um Sibran's assassination. But I think that was discovered by Oral? Oro finds a lot of good exploits. He's really good at that. Abul Nukud, a corrupt man of tremendous wealth, is planning another feast today. At some stage, he will speak to his guests, no doubt made drunk and stupid by his gluttony. This will be my moment. Yeah, faction combat I think was discovered last year? Yeah, Stab Guy and Ian were basically like the two titans of AC1. 
I beg of you just a few coins. Now why would you do them? Curse the Christian king and his time. army of well, infidels. They go against the will of God and must die. Ah! He's a murderer. Oh, Thanks, the beer. I'll see you later. Time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. Yeah, like in Revelations, but it exists in AC1. Salahadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. you I'll see you, Jace. Thanks for so coming quick in. To judge me and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight. No. I wish to speak more of this war and your part. It is wine. It's poisoned you wine. Give up your coin, quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say. Thanks, Super oh, for Dead People. The evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> Abul is also gay. And he lives in a time period where, you know, that's not very accepted. Kill anyone who tries to escape. I used to pirate games a lot. I had a mod chip PS1. Knives to slow this guy down, basically. Be at peace now. 
Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god? Yeah, no, no fat phobia in my chat, thanks. If you do not, not serve not okay. Salah dins cause, then shit. booze. In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing, nothing alike. alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will we have, have our, our new, new world. world. Fucking creepy. All right. Oh, that's another thing. If you kill a main target up, next to guards, you know they all get feared. It's kind of sick. That was a shame, but it's whatever. Hold up. Here. Man, are you fucking kidding me right now? has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with al Mualim, then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Yep. Altair would eventually change his mind on that. Also, Ezio wouldn't be so mad because Altair was the one who adopted Poison first. In fact, all of the designs that Ezio uses were invented by Altair and Malik. But yeah, he would he would change his mind on that later because he realized, you know what? It doesn't matter how we kill. What matters is that we end these people. They consider poison a coward's tool because Al Mualim changed their structure and methods. Would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. 
I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. All this good dialogue coming. Each time you give only riddles in exchange, but no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I, I do not like, like your, your deception. deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken by, by you. you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So, so I will not ask. I, I demand, demand you, you tell me what binds these, these men. men. Uh, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sade. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard, Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Yeah, I wish and the timeouts were stopped. shorter. That is why we do our work. I don't know how to make them shorter. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task. This is complete bullshit. Like Al Mualim is like, oh, I held the truth from you so that you could, you know, earn this knowledge yourself. It's it's completely like a lie. But inadvertently, this is what makes Altair so badass, because he like punches through that and 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 he overcomes that like in spite of al mualim's efforts to keep him in the dark like it's fucking badass knowledge precedes action information learned is more valuable than information given besides your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence i see altair your mission has not changed merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master. I, I didn't. didn't. I, took I took a leap, leap of, of faith. faith. Like, Altair teaches himself critical thinking. Got extra throwing knives. That is very good. Exposed. Use sharp turns or climb over buildings to break your pursuer's line of sight.
All right. But yeah, that that is a good line. Just I have given you a chance to restore your lost honor, not lost, taken by you. And now you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. Like, yes, so good. Safety and peace, Malik. Where that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Muallam has marked Mejduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Mejduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. Story reason, better synchronization with Desmond Miles, or vice versa. And meta reason, because Philip Shabazz was told repeatedly to tone down his accent. And then he was told to tone it down again. And then he was told to tone it down again. And then he was told to tone it down again until it sounded pretty much American. And then Ubisoft was like, oh, okay, cool. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. But yeah, this assassination has one of the best um, moments of character development for Altair in the whole game. And that's part of the reason why it's the final one of this memory block for me. Uh, we're gonna go over here. We have found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, it is our very existence we are fighting for. What's got into The infidel king would be us all acting like a child. Alright, I mean, I wanted you to climb the ladder, but that's fine too. Works for me. No problem. Damn, it feels good to have 10 knives. Just insta kills for days. Okay. Fine. Where are we at, though? I see it's here. AC1 does not have a crossbow, except in its cinematic trailer. Damn, we got a lot of safe citizens over here. That's good shit. Here, let's just like. Alright, vigilantes, right? Do your jobs. Thanks, bros. Okay, that's actually a complete dead end. We can't go that way. So we're not gonna try to. Just, we go next. Ah, uh, close, but not quite. Are we Gucci? She ran away or despawned because I had aggroed other guards already. 
Hey, can I just kind of chill in here? Nice. Oh, wait, there's this. Just three? That's pretty good. Oh! No, 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 no. We cannot let this guy act. Those guys can do lots of damage. Yeah, I know. I explained it, but I kind of used the wrong wording. Alright, what do we have here? A dude with a big helmet. It's just three, right? This shouldn't be a problem. Did you see the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution today. It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Were it that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city? Yes, and not this mockery Mejdedin parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now the position falls to him. He, who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Yeah, John, Come. you don't need the crossbow. Let us return to work. Crossbow's not worth it. Go away. It costs like how much? 20,000? That's 20,000 florins that you could buy billions of knife refills with. Crossbow is 12,000, in Revelations it's like 15,000. That is a lot of money, early game and mid game. You can get so many knife pouches, so many knife upgrades, so many knives for ammo with that money. Okay, this guy has more HP. This guy has a lot of HP. Damn, I really did that trade off. I'm, I'm going for it. Fuck, he recovered. Yeah, I took a lot of damage there. Because looting takes two billion fucking years, I don't have the time for that. Not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Yeah, but that's the thing. On a second playthrough, you don't want to like rebuild and renovate everything. And again, that's money that you're such a shame. You're putting in play over a long period instead of money that has an instant return. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're doing a speed run, if you're doing a second run, if you're doing like a low percent run, you don't want to be fucking around renovating things. You don't want to be fucking around buying the crossbow. Not when you know the way the mechanics of the game work and you just have the effects of the crossbow without it, basically. Like, 
What happened here? Essentially, its function is covered by other things that you have by default. So why would I ever buy it? I got a comment on, on my video recently by someone who was like, why didn't you talk about the crossbow in the Ezio trilogy? And I was like, you will never hear me talk about the crossbow on my channel unless it's to rip it apart. Because I do not like that weapon and I will never use it. Well, that was pretty close. Are you guys really doing this right now? Oh. That's so funny. He was so scared, he like jumped off the roof and died. I'm a god. Altair, I meant to meet a contact nearby, but the guards seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Uh, pistol is not redundant because it has long range and it insta-kills everything. And it's, um, in Brotherhood, hidden gun's aim line converges faster than a knife charge. So basically the two weapons cover each other's weaknesses flawlessly. If you use knives and gun in tandem, you do not have any holes in your playstyle. Basically, you don't need to buy the crossbow to patch gaps in your game because there are no gaps. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination? I'll have your head! I'll have your head in this tragedy, but I stand Get them off of me! Oh. 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 What's this? King and his army of infidels. They Bother someone else! The will of God <laughs> and must be made to pay. Everywhere they ride. They leave only suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade. A crusade for what? Ignorance? Violence? Madness? We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. I'll have your head! The fires of war... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Good. I should be safe here. They won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Thanks, mate. What happened to this poor show? Quickly, the man is a murderer! Good Richard, take Jaffa! There will be no stopping him! He will march on Jerusalem next! We must end this! Before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours. I had has always three? been ours. Alright, okay, so you snack it five is per. Our duty to defend it until death. The crusader you... must be destroyed. Praise be Salahadi. <laughs> English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. Salahadin rides to meet him that these barbarous acts might be avenged. <laughs> Run back now. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Wait. We need to take care of that guy or he'll shoot us. Come no further. And maybe that guy over there, too. Sweet. Yes, all codex pages in AC2 are mandatory because they contain the map of vaults. And you need that in order to access the final memory. is here to see that even when this happens, we are returned to a proper course. We pestered him. What have I done? Oh, 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 somebody help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Oh, really? Oh, no, no, no. Good. Oh, um, when I mentioned, like, fear and, and them staggering and flinching and stuff, if an enemy does a taunt on you, that's also an opportunity to kill them instantly. Try to run. Hide. You will be found and made to pay. Janissaries can be killed by counter no steal and then immediately them. hitting Those them with an attack. Those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith. Without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. Okay, we got thugs, that's not good. Take yourself from my sight. Yeah, yeah. I don't know you, leave me alone. You'll pay for that. I'll show you. How can one expect to defeat me? This won't be too difficult. You crossed the wrong man. You 
enough. I still breathe, so you must desire more than just my life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think he'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them, fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. Dion, that is how the crossbow works in story, but is not how the crossbow works in gameplay. The wiki describes it that way to give it, like, narrative flavor and style. But in reality, it's kind of pointless. Did you guys hear that? I killed a dude with my hidden blade, and some of the guards were like, How did you do that? That's why they're terrified, because they actually don't understand what's happening. They've never seen this kind of weapon before. You can throw them on the ground and do a ground hit and blade takedown? Yeah, of course. I did it in the first memory block when I didn't have counter. It's like the earliest thing. It's just that throws take a while and shock and all combat is actually faster. Can I just kind of do this? Yeah. Just making sure. God, I love this game. I love playing this game. I love commenting this game. I love the people who watch this game. Like, the kind of conversations that this kind of audience results in are great. I mean, yeah, it... That's, that's basically what it is. What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent Mejduddin is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. Why would they put a weapon in the game if it didn't have any use? Uh, variety, and also because it uses a different stock of ammunition. So for example, let's say you run out of gun ammo and knife ammo, you still have crossbow ammo. It becomes like a third alternative. And also, they put it in the game partly because people wanted it to be an AC1 and it wasn't. And so it was kind of like, oh, to please the fans, we'll give it to you in this game, right? That's why. I know what to do. It has a use, and that is why just you remain not for me. In my eyes. You cannot know anything, only suspect. You must expect to be wrong, to, to have overlooked, overlooked something. something. Yes. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? 
as you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. I think you might desynchronize if you fail to kill Majduddin before he assassinates your... or I suppose executes your brother. I don't know though because it's been a very long time since I actually tried it myself. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You don't think so? Hmm. I don't want to waste the time necessary to try it, but maybe I'll replay this memory block off stream at some point and try it there. What do you think of first person stealth games? I think they're one of the best kind of stealth games available. The real question is, why did Yubi let Marcus use a yo-yo as a melee weapon? It's not a yo-yo, it's a thunderball, which is actually a real improvised weapon that punks and anarchists sometimes use. And the reason why is because it's damaging, it's painful, it's easy to use, and it's easy to make. Oh, cool. Well, that's awesome then. Thank you. It's good to know. I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to test that out myself. Alright, here's what's up. We freed these guys earlier. We're going in. Do you like the stealth system in Far Cry 3? It's okay. Yeah, I, when I think of first-person stealth, I really think of Dishonored as, like, the best modern equivalent, kind of. Did I fucking go the wrong way? This is pointless. Why did I come here? No business here. Please. I have all the business here. Yep, I like Deus Ex as well. Very good. I like all immersive sims. Immersive sims are a baby. First of all. Hi. Second of all. Hello. Third of all. Uh, we're gonna collect this flag if we can um. Nice Thanks, uh, as I was saying we're gonna collect this flag <laughs> Desmond please um, so that we can save this timeline aspect which is something that I don't have time to explain right now but, um, anyway. So yeah, here's our dudes. We're gonna go down into the crowd. It's gonna be a good time. I do like Metal Gear Solid very much. How many times have you just deviated from your path and ended up climbing random buildings? Um, today? Like, I mean, this year or in recent times, I suppose would be the phrase. Very, very rarely. But when I first started playing Assassin's Creed, yeah, I would jump in random directions all the time because I was bad. People of Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to, to deliver, deliver a warning. warning. Yes, I do like there Batman still. It's good. Are among you. 
They sow the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? No, we do not. Never. Then you wish to take action? We do. Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. Splinter Cell is okay. This is not justice. It's not my favorite. It's fine though. It's better than most. All of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. you are! See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? This is Assassination 6. They sought to instill fear and doubt within you. But I will keep you safe. Fear now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! She goes by many names. Her sin remains the same. She turned her back on the teachings. Your work here is finished. No. Great dialogue coming up. only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because, because it was, it was fun. fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way that people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Once, Such perhaps. Power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here. Here. Let me Let show, me show you. you. Character development. Hell yeah. I love that. Uh, the fear state that triggers when you kill a main target is also useful because... It allows you to get away. Uh, hold on, that's not cash. <laughs> Social stealth too strong.
Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestor started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were so all dudes freaky. with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nut jobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it... It's bad. It's bad. Really, really bad. bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy. Yes. Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Yeah, Lucy knows about the bleeding effect. And Eagle Vision. So there's nothing major here. And yeah, the door is across. A lot of things are across, actually. So we have Vidix Pen now. And we can finally look through uh, his browser history. Heh <laughs> heh.
You told me she wasn't gonna be a problem, and here she is stirring up the shit again. Deal with this, Vorin. You vouched for her. You're responsible for her. Uh huh. That's right, that's this. There's that. This. This is the real shit right here. I Abstergo satellite launch postponed. Do you know why it's been postponed? Because Clay died before he could give them an Apple of Eden. Citing last minute adjustments to their new all in one telecommunications satellite, I Abstergo have postponed the launch of their first satellite until December 21st. They maintain that their patented technology will allow faster, more reliable data transmission than previous generation satellites which suffered from delays and interference. I know what you're doing. I know what you did. I saw him. He had a metal ball. It opened. They went crazy, shooting, stabbing, tore each other to pieces. I know it was you people. Saw the logo. Heard the name. I'm gonna tell. Anyone who'll listen, you'll be exposed. They'll know the truth. And then you'll pay, you crazy bastards. You'll pay. It may have been Sean, but maybe not. It could have just been some rando. Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus. Mr. Miles, time. I'm still scared of when those the wall paintings. Shows you are being watched by an informed guard. You should blend immediately. Even the slightest. Come in, Altair. I trust you are well rested, ready for your remaining trials. I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name. That the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. Pay attention to Altair's but words. We hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve. It doesn't work on him without. anymore. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just, just a, a piece, piece of, of silver. silver. Look at it. What am, what am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them, to me equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens. The perfect soldiers. A perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. 
There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. Altair's sword, I believe. But yeah, pay attention to the fact that Altair discovers what the Templars intend to do with the apple at the same time that Desmond can read Vidic's email about the Templar satellite launch and the Apple of Eden's effects on others. The parallels, they, they happen at the same time. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. That has been Memory Block 4, one of my favorite parts of the whole game. The story is really picking up. It's getting absolutely crazy and spooky and creepy. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be killing Jubair and Sibrand. And uh, we're going to be discovering all kinds of other spooky stuff. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys join me in the stream immediately after this one. We're going to be playing Blasphemous which is very, very cool. Um, it's a game I've been very excited to play for a long time. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.